Number one, it's name. It's not a user-friendly name. You know, the false widow spider conjures up all these horrendous pictures of a black widow. It's such so unfortunate, isn't it? Because well, a black widow spider is the most deadly spider in the world. Well, well it right? is, but you know, it has another name. It's called a comb-footed spider. Isn't that a much more user-friendly name? You know, and that's more in keeping with the actual, you know, with the behaviour of this spider. And this is, we, I understand, the false widow spider, the, the spider that's causing all the problems. It's not the best looking, not the spiders are particularly attractive. No, I mean, it has this dark, it quite scary, it has this it? dark shiny body and this, these creamy patches and has a creamy stripe, which you can't really see that. Yeah, you can, in front of the abdomen yep. there. Um, so they do resemble the shape of a black widow, but it's a different genus. It's a different spider. And they can bite. Well, they can bite, but, you know, we have 650 odd spiders in this country. Twelve of them can bite. This is, has the horrible moniker of the most venomous British spider. But people love to hear that. They love the sensationalist effect of the most venomous British spider. But it's as venomous as a bee sting, okay. as a wasp sting. And, but some people have developed allergic reaction to it because there have been some hideous photographs in the, in the yeah. press of poor people with their legs being blown up and a girl in particular who had a very nasty reaction. So, you know, those people have had, are worried about it, to say the least. Yes, they have, and um, the jury's out actually as to, as to exactly what um, the, the effect of the neurotoxin on the false widow spider. You know, it's proven that that doesn't generally cause massive effects like that. So these are extreme circumstances, but it is generally a safe spider, and there's not been a single death by this spider in this country. But th there's a lot more of them at the moment. Is that right? Because we've had such a warm summer this year. Is that the reason why? There's been an upturn in the, in the species numbers actually since the late eighties, um, but they've been around much longer than we have. They've been around over a hundred years in this country. Um, but they're moving up because the, because we think it's climate change, and they're coming up from the from the south of the country where it was warmer, as it's as it's steadily warmer, and they are breeding because of our long dry summer, our heat wave. They've had more time to breed and establish more. more and more where animals. do they like to live normally? Well, they're a secluding animal. They're a secluded animal, so they live in high um, tangled webs. That that's that horrible name again, tangled webs or spiders. <laughs> but they'll hang upside down in tangled webs in the corners of, of shutaway places like sheds and outhouses and concrete buildings like that. Okay, so not necessarily easy to stumble across, but if you do, or you think you have one in your house, what should you do? What's the advice? Well, it's not gonna jump on you and sink its fangs into you and have all this <laughs> horrible behavior that, that you hear about. And for your arachnophobes, you know, that, that, that's, that's the panic that sets in, and, and that's understandable. But ignore it. You know, they only the females can bite, and that bite is minimal. Should you I, fumigate your house if you find them? No, like I don't this think so. school? I don't think so. I, th I think you know they they, they will they, they can bite, but they will bite if disturbed. They will bite if you put your hand through the web. They will bite if you sit on one. But you know, if you sit on something and you go, oh, I've been bitten by a spider because you can't find a wasp or a bee, it might not have been a spider. Okay, good advice, Adrian. Thanks so much for joining us. But rather than jump on the spider, oh, aren't they horrible uh, bandwagon? and stop, you know, let's not jump on spiders generally. I mean, okay. A lot of others get yes, good idea. And they do help because they eat lots of nasty flies and stuff, don't they? They do good things. Adrian, thank you so much.